Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to another modding tutorial. In this tutorial today, we're going to be continuing with tools, and in this tutorial, we're going to be adding the crafting recipes. So if you didn't watch the first part, we added in all the tools into the game, and we tested them out. Uh, we're going to be adding crafting recipes into the game now, and I thought I would just cover this in a video, just because you might, guys might be confused. But if you've already got a good understanding of how crafting recipes work, um, you should have already done this. But yeah, we're going to go add some crafting recipes, so in the initialization method, right, game, registry, dot, add recipe, then the, out, the item stack output is new, item stack, then inside the item stack brackets there, copy your variable, put it inside the brackets, and then for the params, we're going to type new object, square brackets, open and close it, and then squiggly brackets, put a semicolon on the end and then inside the squiggly brackets we want to type in three quotation marks separate, separated by a comma and then we're going to put them onto new lines so that directly under each other so you just space it not tab now I just quickly added the item cheese from the food tutorial just because I want that bit want that to be the material to actually craft the Tool. So we're going to go back down to our um, recipe down here and we're going to first start with the pickaxe. So if you guys know a pickaxe shape, it's like a T shape. Um, so the top bit is the material and then like the, the support bit is the sticks. So we're going to do exactly that. So it goes, uh, we're going to put cheese in there for our material. So CCC, it doesn't have to be CCC. It can be any character that you want, doesn't really matter. And then we need to do space, stick, space, then space, stick, space. Now we're going to do comma after the third bracket, third quotations there. Single quotations, put C inside of it. Now the quotations, and we're going to copy um, my item cheese variable up here. Pop that into there. Now you, again, you can do stuff like, instead of item cheese, you can do like items, whatever and blocks dot whatever you want to do but we're going to put item cheese in there and then comma after that we're going to do another single quotation put s in there and this is going to be stick so we're going to do items dot stick and there we go there's our crafting recipe for the pickaxe done now we're going to do the axe so again game registry dot add recipe new item stack put in your cheese axe or whatever you called it then parameters equals new object and then squiggly brackets quotation on the end three quotations inside the squiggly brackets make sure they're separated by a comma put them onto a new line just so we can get a nice visual representation now the axe is a little bit different it goes on the top line we got two cheese and then a space on the second line we got cheese stick space and then last line we got space stick space after the quotation um, to a single quotation put C in there after that I'm going to type in item cheese another comma and do another single bracket and put S in there another comma and then do items dot stick now hopefully you got the gist of this and you can figure out the um, rest of the crafting recipes basically all you want to do is just copy the same shape as the ones in vanilla so um, yeah you should you should have the idea now so I'm going to create the rest of them and just give you an overview of what it should look like just to see if yours are exact so um, go ahead and do that now and I'll come back to you guys. Now I probably shouldn't skip this one, this is actually the shovel and it kind of applies for the axe and a couple of the other tools. If you have a look up here, at the end of each um, of these quotations here, we got a space at the end. Now if, it's, if, we, if we've got that, what we can actually do is just get rid of that space. And what this will allow you to do is, um, you don't actually have to craft it right in the center you can actually put it on the side and craft it and I'll show you in a minute what I mean by that 
um, but if you've got a um, a line of spaces in a row um, from top to bottom you can get rid of them and this applies for the shovel as well so for the shovel all you have to do is is type in um, C S and S so cheese stick stick and we'll do a comma after that third one and then again uh, basically we can just copy and paste this to be honest be a lot quicker so I've added all the crafting recipes and you can go ahead right now pause the video and take a look at it just to make sure that it matches your code now obviously if you've got your own um, item into the game this will be different now we're gonna go ahead press the run button it should load up all the items and the recipes into the game now and now we're just going to our creative tab here and get the items out so we got our item cheese here actually we're gonna clear everything get our item cheese and then also get some sticks out crafting bench and we'll craft each tool so pickaxe same pickaxe shape as everything spade axe hoe and then the last one is the sword so like that boom there we go guys so that's how you add the crafting recipes for your tools oh yeah and quick note I want to show you what that meant when I removed those spaces so um, if you think about it why can't I move this why can't I nudge this to the right one one time it sh still should create the same recipe and that's why I kind of got rid of the spaces so we can actually go over there like that and put it in same applies for the sword as well um, you can put it in any line or any column that you want to so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial today if you did make sure you hit that like button it shows me that you're um, really enjoying this series and supporting it and I'll see you for the next tutorial where we're probably going to go over adding ores into the game because you guys probably want to be able to create ores to mine and actually use those ores smelt them and then create them into these tools here so we're going to try and implement that in a way so we're going to probably create a cheese ore so I'll see you guys for the next tutorial bye